Mary L. Stumpo says, Kimmel jokes about Robert Downey sucked. Very succinct, very just to the point. <laughs> Chase and this is Cut to the Chase with me, Chase. If you didn't know, Jimmy Kimmel hosted the Oscars Sunday night. And quite frankly, most people are not happy about it. He was cringy and his jokes sucked. But there is one moment that trumps them all and we will get to that later at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And a particular instance we're going to get into is his insulting of Robert Downey Jr. And I wanna preface first, I'm okay with insults or taking jabs or something like that. I'm just fine with that. That doesn't bother me. This just went to a different level. This, this felt really personal. So when he was talking about Robert Downey Jr., he said this. Well, one of the highest points, um, but <laughs> Robert has been a, was that too on the nose or is that a drug motion you made? <laughs> I'm not laughing at his joke. I'm laughing at him being so stupid. Is that an acceptance speech in your pocket or do you just have a very rectangular penis? <laughs> First off, that joke alone is so dated. Is this 1995? Like is that a stick in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Oh my gosh. Cringe. Cringe overload. The article from Daily Mail goes on to say the joke fell flat as RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., looked somber while staring at the camera while fans slammed Kimmel for his bottom of the barrel jokes about substance abuse. I agree. That's taking it too far. Okay. There is a difference between making fun of somebody's haircut a la Chris Rock last year, and making fun of somebody's substance abuse that they've struggled with in the past. Huge difference, not even in the same category. Maybe if this was a roast of Robert Downey Jr., you could go there. Maybe, far be it for me to say what's off limits in comedy. I, I, I don't like that. But let's read what some people commented in regards to this. Wolfgang Buchanan says, who the F still makes jokes about RDJ's drug issues? Like not only did he get off of drugs, he became part of one of the most successful trans, trans right, franchises of all time and is killing it. Like write some new material. And Patrick Bet David says, a qualified dirtbag joke that wasn't even funny. I agree. Jimmy Kimmel does this on the night Downey wins his first Academy. It's people like Jimmy Kimmel that turn people off from watching this garbage. It's as if Jimmy Kimmel is envious of how much RDJ is loved. I, I would agree with that. Because RDJ is pretty loved. Like, <laughs> he really is. Jimmy Kimmel, Ryan Gosling is so hot. Also Jimmy Kimmel, Robert Downey Jr. used to do drugs. It's time for a new host. You know, he said that he would never host again. Like, well, whatever the last time it was that he hosted. He said he'd never do it again. Why is he back? I read somewhere as to why, but it was the reasoning was, it was something to do with like the Barbie movie or something. I don't remember. It was stupid. Mary L. Stumpo says Kimmel jokes about Robert Downey sucked. Very succinct, very just to the point. <laughs> Alex Madib Coleman, Robert Downey Jr. If you want to Will Smith slap Jimmy Kimmel, I don't blame you. Wouldn't that have been great? <laughs> no, Robert Downey Jr. has too much decorum to to do that. Craig Britton says, making fun of the drug issues of Robert Downey Jr. is actually pretty lame. I'm not surprised though, because Jimmy Kimmel has always sucked. I, to be honest, I, I try to find both sides. Like when I, when I read comments, I couldn't find any. <laughs> I couldn't find any, any comments or tweets where people were like, I really liked uh, Jimmy Kimmel tonight. That was very, very good, very good. I couldn't find anything. And with how much nobody watches the Oscars anymore, literally the only reason people are knowing about it is because of, of Monday when news stories came out. It's not like people saw uh, <laughs> what was happening. Nobody was tuning in. It wasn't until the news stories came out that people were like, oh, hey, what? What happened at the Oscars? But that's the funny thing is they're starting to say that the Oscars ratings are starting to incline. They're, 
going in the upward projection, which they are right. <laughs> let's let's take a look at a graph. So if you look, you can see the ratings through the years. Okay, like let's go back about 20 years ago. It's like we're somewhere around like 30 million viewers, somewhere around there. And then it just it just keeps going down. And then at about 2015 is the highest, 2016 is the lowest. I wonder what the, you know, they say correlation doesn't equal causation. 2016 is when Trump derangement hit, syndrome hit. <laughs> okay. So from 2016, 2016, about basically 20 million. And then throughout the Trump presidency, the Oscar ratings fell. <laughs> Yeah, to just record lows. In 2021, I, I mean, it barely even registers. It's like 2 million people, 3 million people, somewhere around there. And then it starts to come up a little bit. That's what they're talking about is, yeah, the ratings are going up. This is about as dubious as Biden saying, inflation is going down. Well, yeah, it was here. And then when you took over, it went here. And now we're here and you're saying, yeah, look, it's going down. Look, the graph says it's going down. Inflation's... Inflation's down, people. It's the equivalent of peeing on my leg and telling me it's raining. But speaking of Trump, the troll of the night goes to the former president because Jimmy Kimmel took the bait, people. He took the bait. Where Jimmy Kimmel actually read an honest review that President Trump gave on the Academy Awards. I'm really proud of something. Uh, I was wondering if I could share it with you. I just got a, a review and... Um... <laughs> Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? <laughs> His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Sloppinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And let's hear Jimmy's comeback to that onslaught. Thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still watching. Isn't it past your jail time? <laughs> Does, it doesn't work, bro. You took the bait and we left on a high note of President Trump just demolishing the Oscars as we close out the night. And there you have it. It was a hilarious night for all of the wrong reasons. And I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. What is your opinion on his jokes? Is it fair game? Like, I, I, I'm really curious. Is, is jokes like that fair game, no matter the environment? Or is there a time and a place for? And what do you guys think of President Trump's comment? Is that not the voice of the people <laughs> right there? Despite what you might, might think of him, is that just not the voice of the people when it comes to the uh, the Oscars. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to agree that yes, it is. And if you like this video, please go down and like it. If you have not yet already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. There's more content like this all the time. And as always, guys, peace out.